Home delivery is a pretty well-developed service in Kinshasa, from goods to food. Since the beginning of July, a 23-year-old woman has added books to the list of items the Congolese capital residents can get without stepping out. And it all started with confinement and a tweet. It's amazingly handy because the books come to us uh, at home, especially in this confinement moment. We don't get to go out uh, anymore, uh, let alone going to libraries or bookshops. This is the first time Dudu Kajangu has had rented books delivered to his house. And he is not the only one thrilled by the service. My daughter has loved reading since she was a little girl, and I encourage her to read a lot too, because, you know, reading motivates. It actually boosts uh, the brain. It allows us to have a good vocabulary to write easily. Kajangu says renting the books and thus having to give them back is extra motivation to read, whereas buying books outright allows for procrastination. Kajangu is using a service developed by Soraya Odia called Majusco. Majusco is a room in library. The idea here is to bring books to people. Soraya says the idea of renting her books and delivering them to customers came to her while she was still working as an intern for the European Union. Having a lot of time on her hands, she decided to start a list of her books. When I finished listing my books, it made me think about the library I often go to. I told myself, they do that too. They even have a system. And why do I give people my books anyway? I could rent them and create an income. That's when the idea came about. I created a form to fill out for people who would subscribe and everything. That's when I tweeted it. Soraya hosts a weekly book show on her YouTube channel and builds her catalog with books donated and books bought from street sellers or Kinshasa's only second-hand bookstore. She's one of our most regular customers. She comes to buy books two or three times a month. Traditional shops, especially bookshops like Joe Kalongo's, have lost a good part of their clientele since the coronavirus confinement. That change has boosted Soraya's new online business and fueled her literary lifestyle. I consider myself a literary activist, if I may. I campaign for people to have access to books, because more than anything else in the DRC, literature suffers from the problem of distribution. And I think that when people say that Congolese people don't read, I don't find it to be totally true. Some want to read, but don't know where to find the books. So I see myself as a bridge between books and the Kinshasa residents in particular, and the Congolese in general. Majusco clients pay $10 plus transportation to have four books per month delivered to their homes. With a degree in rural economy, environment and project management, Soraya says she's still looking for a more traditional job. But while she's waiting, she's planning to move her Majusco operation to an office where she can expand her staff and her library. Anastasi Tudiesh for VOA News, Kinshasa.